my friends. We are leaving Los Angeles, headed out to Casita Springs, much like Johnny Cash did back in 1961 when he moved out to Casita Springs. His house that he built, he had a pretty heavy hand in the design of it, is up for sale. I've heard there are some famous people that are interested in buying it, but the realtor actually reached out to me because he had seen my original video there when we couldn't get inside and he said, you know, Jordan, I love what you're doing and I thought, let's finish the story. Let's let you get inside. So today, we are getting inside Johnny Cash's house. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. So we made our turn out onto Route 33. Now Johnny had performed out here long before he moved out here. 1956, he played a moose hall out here in a town called Foster Springs that actually, they ended up getting rid of the town while Johnny lived out here in 65, but he had always tried to get his parents to move out to California and they didn't like where he lived in Encino. He lived in, uh, I think it was Johnny Carson's old house. And so when he took a ride out here and found Casita Springs, he said, I think I can get my folks to move out here. So he bought a trailer park out here and got them to run it and then built the house we're gonna see. Johnny's wife Vivian said once he got his folks out here and everything and got them running the trailer park. It was called Johnny Cash's Trailer Rancho. He wanted to build a house on a mountain and she said, you know, whatever Johnny wants, Johnny gets. So there was also another reason that Johnny decided to move the whole family out here is that his daughter Rosanna, he had three daughters. Rosanna was allergic to smog and the air was much better out here. So that was the other reason he wanted to live out here. This is kind of an interesting point in his career because he moved in 1961 from the Encino house out here and he was just transitioning from being a Sun Records artist to now being Columbia. So he's living out in Los Angeles. So it's just like a total different vibe. And Johnny was from Arkansas originally. So, you know, he was drawn to this area because he liked to hunt and fish and he could do that out here. And there were only 300 people in town. So he actually like could really feel at home and feel like he was part of a small community. I love that they put this here though. Over here at the Casitas Market, they have a little remembrance of Johnny here. Tell they're proud of their fishing and they're proud of their man in black. The town sounds like it's kind of like Foster Springs now where it's just kind of a transition town. There's not a whole lot here. A lot of the town is just kind of fallen by the wayside. Here's our destination, Nye Road. So from the street level, Johnny's house is actually up there on that mountain. He had a bulldozer make a path, brought the family up there, and then said, this is where we're gonna live. And Vivian was kind of okay with it because she thought maybe this would kind of slow him down. He was doing a lot of pills and everything at that time. She thought that would like make him stay home more, but he actually scrutinized every little detail about building this place. Like even when they had the, just the land, he went up there and laid down and would show him where he wanted the tub, where he wanted the bed, decked out how he wanted the paint and everything. And then when the house was finally done, he was out on tour. Yeah, I tried to come up here before and only got to the gates. Cause I think the fire chief used to own this place. Now it's for sale. Here's our private property sign. I think we can bypass that. That doesn't really apply to us today. Gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna see. This is the road that Johnny had put in and used to just drive like a madman up and down it when he'd get mad and decide to take off. Let's see what we got up here. Here it is. All right, here we go. How cool. He said, you know what, why don't you drive in? I've seen enough of your videos. I know how you like to do it. So I thought that was pretty neat of him to give us an unobstructed view. Like I said, I think Johnny had a camper that he used to like to go places in and he would drive around and everything. And when he would get angry and he would take off to the lake, he would go just flying down through here. Vivian says you often didn't expect him to <laughs> not get hurt. He also took the cops on an insane chase that led them back to here and they ended up arresting him. A ton of animals up here too. He had like parrots and just anything he'd ever wanted he had up here. Drove the some of the neighbors crazy. 
and he was a huge fan of Christmas, so he had a huge illuminated cross up here and would blast Christmas carols to everyone all over the town. Here we are. So here is the house. Like I said, Johnny just, you know, he got every single thing that he wanted out of this house. And they were telling me when we first got up here that Johnny's daughter came up here to visit and see the house and said that her and her father actually used to shoot guns right over here where the boat is and that she wanted to know if she could go look for gun shells. And so she found a bunch. <laughs> and then they found part of a gun out there <laughs> that Johnny must have left out just in the dirt, down in a gully. So this was his house and he had a pasture and a barn right down here for all of his horses, which kind of doesn't seem like it'd be a ton, but a ton of space, but his daughter said they could never, like it just seemed weird because they would play here. And they said, you know, like, Everybody, all the kids down there are seeing us up here playing and like it just kind of felt weird being elevated like this for them. And then once Johnny and June got together, he moved to Nashville. Vivian stayed here for I think another year and then she fell in love, got married and moved. So I can't wait to see this. Like I said, I think of this is just like an empty plot of dirt that he'd had paved flat. And he's up here showing the family and then he's like <laughs> laying in the dirt, like making snow angels kind of saying, this is where I want my tub. This is where I want this. So the realtor said, it's kind of cool. He said, you know, um, that Johnny and Vivian had separate bathrooms and that very little in this house has been changed, but the people that have been looking at it, considering buying it, all have shown interest in restoring it back to the way it was. So hopefully that will happen. Let's go inside and meet Adam. Hey Lauren, so now you get to see Johnny Cash's house with me. I thought that was only appropriate since you got me to like the mecca of all locations, the spider pool. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for taking me along. It seems like the best way to do this would be act like a guest that would enter through the front, right? <laughs> His time out here, he hung out a lot with Sheb Wooley. All right, here we go. And here's our man. Here's Adam. Hi guys. Gonna show Hello. us around the Johnny Cash house. Holy moly. Yeah, pretty much uh, all original. It's like a time capsule. In fact, uh, behind you, there is the doorbell and clock that was here when uh, uh, Johnny was here. There's pictures of him and his family right next to it. There's a little upright piano right here. In fact, let's listen to it. This is what he heard. I love it. You said he had his piano right there. Piano right there, and but there were saloon style doors that uh, uh, were right there in that doorway. Look at that. But other than that, this room is exactly the same. Wow, that is beautiful. You can tell he definitely had the touch of Arkansas that he was trying to bring to the California times. This is really cool. That's it, I, you know, I've, I've heard about the black toilet, that he had to have this black toilet in his bathroom. That's it. This is it, Johnny sat here. Um, the current He did owner. more than sat there. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Now, uh, the current owner, took this out because it was not a low flow, but thank goodness he kept it. That's really cool. A lot of people don't think of that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. I love it. <laughs> you know Johnny had to have his guns while he was here. No question about that. In fact, this was found right behind the house where Johnny used to shoot. Uh, That's the one daughter. you found. Although the barrel's missing, it must have got washed away, and there was about this much sticking out of the ground. And I spotted it. The owner went down and retrieved it, and this is what he said was a World War II era Mauser, which is, you know, 
fitting for the period. Very, and especially with what Johnny liked, that's totally believable. Yes, indeed. Wow, does that come with the purchase of the house? Sure, just, <laughs> just throw it in. My concern, you know, you and I talked about this, Adam, you, you know, my concern is like a place is cool and where it's located, you just expect like, oh, somebody will want to come in and change everything. But you said the people that have been looking at it seem to really want to keep it similar to original. Yes. Yeah, form. They want, and they respect uh, Johnny. In fact, some want to bring back uh, some of the finishes that uh, have been changed. But uh, that would be cool. You, I don't, you know, I know you, do, you out of privacy, you probably don't want to share some, but it's like big name people that are looking at the house big name in people. music and yeah. in movies. And when you told me all the names, I said, I think every single one of those would honor the, the legacy of Johnny, which is so cool to Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, let's go in the kitchen. Absolutely. The kitchen is almost identical other than the uh, tile on the floor. And there's some nice little treats in here. Oh, look at this. Oh. oh, wow! Johnny's record player. Oh, that's amazing. How cool is that? I mean, that's like a hi-fi for when he would have yeah. bought this place. And the radio and PA system, it runs throughout the house. Although you know, it's not working now. Would have had to have been top of the line. I mean, he what, built this 61? This would have been... For the time, I'm guessing the intercom and everything, that was top of the line for the day. Indeed. Wow. And as you know, he wrote Ring of Fire while living here. And Yeah, you know, absolutely. His music studio was uh, back here, if you want to come take a look. Yeah. I love the beams and everything across. I just love the detail that he did, you know? This kind of stuff. There's so much character. And the tiles, wow! Look at that tiling. That is, that is beautiful. It's got all kinds of texture to it. That's amazing. Yes, yes. So you'll see most of the ceilings are, are original. This was a green uh, yeah. ceiling with the, the sparkles. I kind of mentioned before that he wanted a black ceiling in his bedroom with silver sparkles. This one's like almost like a sea foam green with all that in there, all the glitter flakes, Johnny's hand-picked design, little doggy door, because <laughs> I said he had a ton of animals, he loved his animals out here, parrots and horses and dogs, his recording studio, wow. Vintage photo of his guns on the wall and his gold album and that would have all been like right there <laughs> right here, wow yeah. look at this I'll go back to the corner he had a little back entrance he could come in that's probably one he slid into after he was out drinking and fishing <laughs> oh, yeah. come in here and then a little recording studio room in here that is so cool sparkle. yeah and a different color of it's a white sparkle but it's got all the glitter and everything I wonder why he did it in every room. I love it, but like I said, you know, on our way up here, Vivian said whatever Johnny wants, Johnny gets. Wow. Wow. He could have demoed Ring of Fire in here. Very easily so. Because the rumor, you know, some there's two rumors. One rumor is that June actually wrote the song, and then Vivian said no, Johnny wrote the song on this lake, and because he was in love with June, he gave June writing credits. That yeah. so that's Vivian. Yeah, could have been in here. So we're gonna go take a look at some more of the house from different angles. Well, well that's right. Here's some of the black uh, ceiling. Oh, wow. That's garage. so cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, look at that. I wonder if Johnny ever slept out here. Cause he had that Winnebago. It was like a little RV. Definitely can imagine that he would have parked his vehicles in here. No question. Wow. That is so freaking cool. The legend is true. Bathroom in here. Back into the kitchen. 
the print is still the same as when he had it. It's got to be original flooring. That's the living and entertainment room, which I really like the ceilings. That's really neat. And this is back to where we literally walked in to the front door right there. So now we're going to pass the doorbell and go back and see the bedrooms. All right. Okay. Now the kids had their rooms here and here. There were four daughters. Oh. He came here with three, left with four. That's right. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember I remember he had three when he moved out here, so. Look at that. Again, that ceiling. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He did it to every bedroom. Every bedroom has that glittery ceiling. So this would have been the daughter's room. Could have been Rosanna's room. Rosanna Cash. Not the greatest view out the window because you just got to see the side of the mountain, but he also, you can see, has an outland eye room. Oh, look at that shower. That is very cool. Wow. This must have been Vivian's. No, she no. Had her own. Oh, so this was the kids' shower. Yeah. Now Johnny, you know, was up all night working, and so he built his own suite. Johnny's suite here, Vivian's here, and Johnny's is the one with the view. <laughs> of course. Wow. Now Johnny's uh, son-in-law came here. He was married to Kathy, and he hadn't been here since he was 18. And the only thing that was different is Johnny had a round bed. Oh, interesting. And unfortunately, the uh, acoustic ceiling was painted Oh, white, yeah. But... You can tell where the black was in there. Oh! Awesome! In the closet! There it is! That's the wow. infamous, or famous, black ceiling. Oh I wonder I why of all the it. rooms they repainted... Well, I guess because it's the master, ba master bedroom, you would... Wanted to match your style if you lived here, but man, I was gonna say, why would you change the the Johnny suite? Wow, look at that dressing room in there. Yeah, Holy smoke, off. that is something. Look at that, wow. Here I am, hi. So this is, this is the bathroom where Johnny would have laid down on the ground and said, I want the tub right there. Oh, wow. So it's like a walk-in shower. Whole deal in here. And that's where the black toilet would have been. So he must not have had a tub in here. He must have had them put in just this big Roman type shower. Look at that. Because that's a step down in deal. You could actually, you could sit down, you could lay down in that thing if you wanted to. Yeah, that's, that's a double. Wow. I dig the style, look at the wallpaper. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. And then his own little sliding glass door out here to the pool. Oh, wow. Take a look at the closet. Johnny's closet. I'm guessing shoes. Wood paneling. That's very cool. What color was the room originally that was it? Did he do the whole room black or just the ceiling black? You know that I don't know. That's I what I was wondering. Know. 
because it kind of would appear, I would think he would have done the whole thing black. But sometimes you can tell. Not in here though, they did a pretty good job painting it. You know, inside the closet is black, so maybe that... Yeah, that seemed more likely color. that everything would have... The whole room would have just been pitch black, I would think. Wow. So this is Johnny's view from his bedroom. That's where we came in right over here. Walked up, he could actually look out and see who was ringing the doorbell. Had a great view of the whole town. And then right over there, the pool. Now I wonder what he gave Vivian. <laughs> I wonder what Vivian's room and her view was like. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Oh, she, oh, very nice. She got a, the countertop's a little bit different. It's got a little bit of a pink to it. And wow, look at her closet. She has giant closets with like a Lazy Susan type, uh, I'm guessing that was for shoes also probably. That's very nice. Wow. That is quite an area. Oh, and she's got a view, <laughs> she's got a view of the pool as well. So at least he was good enough to do that. Pretty nice suite. It's just weird to think of people not sleeping in the same room. I know Jack Oakey and his wife are like that because they said Jack would always, he would be filming so early he didn't want to wake her up so he would always sleep in a different room. There's her view of the pool. Her tile and bathtub was pink. Um, originally, in fact, you see where the paint is chipped off that there is pink underneath. So underneath this tile, underneath this white is pink. Just like that. Oh yeah, you can see it definitely right there. And that's one of the things that you told me some of the uh, people considering purchasing the house were thinking of going back to, which I love. I think that's... That's just like, that'd be amazing to see that all pink again. This is a great bathroom. He did a great job on. Said he was very meticulous about it. He was the one that kind of called all the shots as to what got done, how it was designed. Wow, kind of cool to see his ideas. So now we're back in here in the uh, kind of the family room with the fireplace. And I wanted to check this out. We saw this, we kind of walked past this. This lanai, looks like an exercise room type add-on. But it's got the same ceilings, it's got the same slants and everything, so. Even a little skylight. Wow, I can't believe we got in here today. This is pretty amazing. So now we're going to go look at an extra room that was for a security guard that lived here. And the rumor was that that's who, uh, that he was the one that Vivian, he was a cop, off-duty cop, and that's who Vivian married when Johnny left. And that is right over here to the side of the house. This little room. Probably the best gig this cop ever had <laughs> in the end. Look at that, the original wallpaper. It looks like, oh, cool. Blue tile, original wallpaper. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. That's just too cool. What was up there? Another gun? Wouldn't surprise me. Wow, what do you think, Lauren? What a day, huh? Crazy. <laughs> this is an exciting day, very exciting day. Look at the little calm thing. Now we're going to work our way up here. Adam was saying that this area, they kind of let get away from them over time. But I bet somebody will find a really good use and a reason to bring it back because this is just such a cool little secluded area up here. But yeah, definitely the steps are starting to go. 
I can see somebody definitely restoring this. Look at that. That's family style. That's big enough for four kids, a wife, and your parents that run a trailer park down at the bottom of the hill. Then you said you found the the gun down here? Yeah, you know, Johnny used to shoot as per her daughter uh, right here. They would shoot off into the embankment target. Makes and, sense. And down about 25 feet by that root, I saw a piece of wood sticking out about three inches and the current owner being a fireman, I uh, went down there, pulled it out, and found this. With serial <laughs> numbers and all. That's so neat, man. <laughs> and chances are it was from Johnny's uh, time, because there's no neighbors this way, no neighbors up there, and could have been tossed off. Totally. That just, I mean, that seems so likely. Then you said she found a bunch of shells up in this direction right yeah, up here? Yeah, all around here, and she... From when they used to shoot. I just love this. I can't get over that. I mean, because you know, you can just tell by all, everything out here that this was definitely made when the house was first built. And it's kind of cool to see the style and everything. The red, how it had it all painted red and everything. Wow, what a tour. This is what everybody really wants to know. They want to know what's in here. Johnny's last song. No, there's nothing. Except for some snails. Could that possibly be Johnny Cash's dinner bell, do you think? <laughs> do you think it could be the dinner bell? While he's out on the horses or out doing who knows what? Oh man, what a day. This was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the inside of Johnny Cash's home as much as I did today. This was phenomenal. Now it's not gonna end here because Adam actually is gonna hook me up. He and I are gonna make another video in the future of a very historic property that I've been trying to get into for three years. So he actually just made a call and I heard the owner say, yeah, you guys can come. So it's gonna be great. Can't wait. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching. I, I'm so happy that I get to share things like this with other people that can't get out to see it. And, you know, Adam felt the same way. He said, you know, this is just like the end of the story. We need to like show people what the inside is, share the rest of the story. And without him, we couldn't have been here. So thank you to Adam McKeg and thank you to you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and please ring the bell for notifications. We'll see you all next time from somewhere else in California. Have a great night and goodbye.